of Chatelaine Magazine, Kareen, you are joining us on the couch. Thank you. With our regular panelists. Yeah. See some party planning today? Let's talk a little bit about party etiquette, because there are things you should do and things you should not do, That's right? That's true. And sometimes you don't know until someone actually says. So I'm going to throw out some questions, <laughs> and, and, and you guys give me your answers. What I'm time going. should you arrive to the party? Okay, let's say the party starts at 8 o'clock. When, when are you getting there, Claire? Is it a dinner party or is it a cocktail party? Oh, dear, Ooh, I don't question. know the answer to if that. If it's a dinner party, you do not be later at my house than 15 minutes. Agreed. Okay. But not early. Not, not early. On the Never dot. early. Not, no, but in not fact, 10, 10 to 15 minutes after the yes. time would be perfect. Agreed. Give me enough time to, like, dab the sweat off my face. Yes. Yeah. But don't screw up my schedule that Virginie has no. on. The, like, if dinner is at 7.30, then dinner is at 7.30. Don't ring the bell at, like... 6.57. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Also, so okay. right? Agreed. Agreed. Do you know what I like about that point, though? A lot of people do think, well, I should be on time. No. Don't be right on time. No. Give I, them ooh. 10 minutes. I'm five, not ten ready minutes, at 8. Yeah. I know I told you 8. Give me 10, We literally minutes. have friends who have sat in their car outside our house. <laughs> To wait, to wait, yeah. 10 minutes. You know, it's Good. like a hotel room. You may enter now. Like, you turn the sign around. Absolutely. <laughs> so here's outside. the rule. You guys got it right. If the invite says 8 o'clock, you should arrive at 8.10. Yeah. Yay. The host ding, is ding, going ding, to appreciate ding. the extra time to powder her face, maybe take her rollers out. For formal events, <laughs> guests should arrive within 15 minutes of the time listed on the invitation. So that's if it's formal. For informal, you can actually arrive up to 30 minutes after the party begins. Yeah, that's fair mm. enough. Up to 30 party. minutes. If it's, yeah, I should tell my girlfriends yes, that. 30 sure. minutes, not two hours. No. 30 minutes. No, they that? no longer invited. Someone should have two hours late to Christmas dinner at my house. Yeah, that's Guess crazy. what? Never you don't invited get back. <laughs> you don't get any turkey. No way. Wow. All right, should you bring flowers to the party? Kareen, what do you think? Okay, this is the trick that I was telling you about just before we started. I have learned a great trick. You send the flowers the, either earlier in the day or even the evening before, and then they can incorporate it into their mm -hmm. table setting or whatever mm -hmm. it is. And I thought, it's a hostess gift, yeah. it's thoughtful, you're good. and right. hard. When somebody arrives with a big bouquet that's not in a vase already, you're exactly. like, oh, one more and thing to no do. And there's no room on your counter. Yeah. Right. It's like, no. It's, and then they're going to die in the yeah. corner, you're going to feel badly. So I no think. to the flowers or unless done vase. in advance. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is, that takes way more time and effort, so kudos to you for doing that, but that's fabulous. And if, I guess if you don't do it the day before, you can do it the day after. Also nice. Which is also I lovely. Yeah, that's Although really nice. arriving empty handed, always difficult. Well, wine. I know. It's true. It's true. Wine. Just bring the wine, and the that's flowers. okay. Yeah. You're exactly <laughs> your, great, uh, your great hostesses. Don't bring the flowers unless they're in a vase. Right? Yeah. Okay. Don't do it. Okay. Good to one. cell phone or to not oh, cell boy. phone, people. I know how I feel about this. Uh, cell phones at the party? At the party or at the table? At right. the table. Definitely not at the table. But if you're at a work event, I would argue that my cell phone would probably come out, to be perfectly honest, because you're yeah. out there having fun with your friends and your colleagues. You wanted to take some pictures. But yeah. I'm thinking more of, of an informal environment for that. Yeah, Definitely. Okay. If Social. someone's home, I don't think so. So let's say I come to your place, Virginie, and my kids are with the new babysitter for the first time, right. and we're all sitting around the formal table. Okay, so that's fine. What yeah. do I do? So I'm just going to put it on silent, because yeah. I have a babysitter. On, oh, vibrate on your lap or in you your pocket. Even inside your purse, long. you can yes. feel it if it's vibrating. So okay. I think that's okay. Well, yeah. I don't know. You guys don't go to the store to parties I go to, because I can't feel it if it's vibrating. Okay? <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Everybody's oh, vibrating. What kind of party are we having? You're absolutely right. Turn off your cell phone while at the table, and if you do need to talk, go move away from the table. Right. Excuse yourself and go away from the table. Very. You guys are all really good guests. I like that.